Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about conservation of linear momentum for a system of particles. We're in um, chapter 15, um, kinematics of particle, impulse, and momentum. Um, the conservation of linear momentum can be applied when two body, uh, two particles collide uh, or interact. For example, in the picture you see that the, 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 the two football players, they were heading towards each other and they collide and assuming that if there is no additional force um, afterward afterward they collide what two scenario can happen the uh, player with the white shirt can hold on to the player with the blue shirt and they uh, may fall or move to forward together or they may just collide and separate um, after the collision so both scenario uh, if there is no additional force um we can apply this conservation of linear momentum um so let's see to this objective um discuss the conservation of linear momentum for a system of particles um as the examples we talk about the uh, football player again if you have a bumper car and if you think they're free to move um on, on the floor uh, then if they collide the um, before and after uh, without having any additional impulse force and we're going to talk about what impulse force is in this scenario um, we can apply this concept uh, here also for um, if you're using a hammer on a rod uh, for this is for a short period of time you can still apply the conservation of um, linear uh, conservation of linear momentum so let's um, move, go ahead and see what conservation of linear momentum is that we are talking about. So um, conservation of uh, linear momentum momentum. Um, so to derive uh, the conservation of linear momentum. We have to start from our previous lecture that was principle of linear momentum um, where we had um, um, where we had um, summation of um, m i that means there was i particle v i one that is the initial um, velocity of each uh, particles plus um, there was the impulse um, which is um, summation of force f i um, dt and um, it's from t1 to t2 and we had on the other side um, summation of mi because mass doesn't change but the final velocity v2 for each um, uh, particles so uh, for the conservation of linear momentum what our consideration is that uh, if there is no impulse so if there is no external or internal uh, impulse uh, or if we can ne neglect them so this uh, fdt would be zero and we'll, we'll be um, left with um, m i v i 1 um, summation of all those particles equals to um, m i v i 2 so um, this is the um, conservation of linear momentum equation and um, this makes sense if we have for example um, only two particles so one particle which has a mass of m1 and there's a another particle which has a mass of m2 right um, m2 so if there's only two particles so the summation of um uh, all the masses um here mi 
and this mi would be same so we can say the summation of all those masses m1 plus m2 in this case so we can replace that with just an m and um uh, in uh, the the summation of velocity of all those particles right that we talked about um that can be represented as um uh, vg so the equation would be m equals to vg the velocity of the entire body um, and summation of mi um, and vi so if we apply that concept we'll be left with um, vg1 and on this side summation of mass again vg to the final uh, velocity of each of these particles so we can cancel out the summation of mass um, then we'll be left with uh, vg1 equals to vg2 so what this means is that if there is no external force um, acting on those particles a system of particles um so their initial and final velocity would be the same and which is realistic if you, if if something is moving and if there is no external force the um, velocity should not be changed so um um in, in that sense um this is um always valid this uh, conservation of linear momentum is valid so um how do we apply um uh, when or how uh, do we apply the conservation of linear momentum? Um, so before we can uh, apply um, this um, conservation of linear momentum for a system of particles, we have to study uh, through a free body diagram to check if there is any uh, impulsive um, pulsive, uh, force acting or, or not. If there is no impulsive for force acting, we can um, apply um, this um, this uh, equation. Um, also, there is a way to um, see if um, or um, sometimes you can neglect uh, impulsive forces um, if if um, it is too small compared to the system for example um if we have here in the picture uh, the frog is playing um uh, tennis so when the bat strikes uh, when the bat strikes the ball um it is a huge um impulsive force acts on the ball so it's an impulsive force but compared to the force of the bat the weight of the ball is um the weight of the ball is uh, very small uh, and um, the effect of the weight of the ball uh, during the short amount of time during the contact of bat with the ball here is very small so with the short amount of time the effect of the weight of the ball is very small so compared to the force of the bat that is very small so we can neglect that and we can assume that force as a non-impulsive force this is just example of um, how do you define if there's a non a, a, uh, impulsive force or not or if you can neglect a small impulsive force and assume that your system is um there is no impulsive force and you can solve for um um conservation of uh, linear momentum so now uh, we'll see uh, two scenario where you can apply um the conservation of linear momentum for example if you have one particle right uh particle with a weight of m1 and initial velocity v1 is um, moving this direction 
and you have a uh, another particle which is um, m2 with a velocity of v2 right um, moving in um, this direction so eventually they will collide and what can happen like I said at the beginning and the um, they can stick together so um, this particle and then the um, the M2 particle may stick together and they may move to a new direction together together so if they are moving together their total mass would be M1 plus M2 right and they may have a they will have a newer velocity which we can say um, v2 and assuming there is no impulsive force acting on those particles just they just collide and sticking together in this case this in this case our um, um, our um, conservation of linear momentum equation will be uh, m1 v1 plus m2 v2 it was it was the um, um, previous velocity oh there is a typo because I already took that as a v2 so it would be um, this one would be um, we can say it's a v3 a different velocity v3 um, so the before the collision the momentum of the first uh, particle m1 is m1 v1 and the momentum of the second particle m2 v2 after they collide they will have um, summation of the mass m1 plus m2 and so the mass and then the velocity which is uh, v3 so this will be the equation uh, for uh, equation of our conservation of linear momentum for this scenario um, now let's see what could be the second scenario we can have where um, the both particle collide and um, so let me draw different particles so one particle here with m1 v1 moving in this direction plus another particle um, m2 with the mass of m2 and velocity of v2 moving in um, that direction eventually they collide and after the collision um, the m1 particle is moving a new direction so but the mass is same so it will still have the mass m1 but it will have a new velocity v3 and um, uh, the second particle um, it will still have the mass m2 but it will have a new velocity um, which could be v4 uh, so and a new direction um, maybe this way so in this scenario um, we will have our um, the conservation of linear momentum equation as m1 v1 plus m2 v2 which was the uh, before collision uh, the momentum of each of those particles equals to the after collision m1 okay let me use a different color which will be equals to um, m1 v3 plus m2 v4 so this will be um, 
the conservation of linear momentum equation for uh, this scenario so we can see problems um, where for example um, two uh, rail railway tank for the transportation of oil they can collide and stick together um, so you may apply this equation when if they collide and then become separate after the collision then you have to use this equation so that is it uh, for today uh, we'll see you in next class uh, till then thank you